you have created this magnificent relationship that your inner being is already fully enjoying we'll give you more about that in a moment when you want something like a relationship and you are infinitely aware that it isn't here yet even though you may have been dreaming about it you may have been cleaning up your vibration about it you haven't seen the evidence about it and so you are less certain because you are using the physical manifestation as your point of evidence rather than the improvement in the way you feel so the way you quantify this is good isn't it yes. so the way you is, is it dumb enough for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a wonderful question and we are pleased that you're asking it in this way because it is tricky when you have been using what you see with your eyes and hear with your ears and so on as your acknowledgement of what's happening to have something that is 99 percent created and not be able to see it takes an element of faith that if you don't know about the laws of the universe and you don't know that the way you feel means something what happens is you'll be moving along you'll find a positive thought you'll think about what you want you'll view something that you appreciate you'll come into vibrational alignment with the idea of this and you are moving right along to it and then you'll see someone who right now has exactly what you want which, which reminds you that you don't have it right now and you turn upstream so all that's happening is you're turning toward it and away from it and toward it and away from it because you're letting what is control the direction of your thought rather than what you want to be so the key is you have to take the relationship out of the equation take take the guy out yes for this reason because <laughs> did you hear us earlier when we said being without him has caused you to want him and being with the wrong ones has caused you to specify what you specifically want in other words you have created this magnificent relationship that your inner being is already fully enjoying we'll give you more about that in a moment so as this relationship is already come to vibrational fruition and you're feeling good about whatever you're moving toward it as you feel bad you're moving away from it so the work has already been done relative to the creation of the relationship now your work is to hold yourself in vibrational alignment with the well-being that is waiting for you which means your work now is to feel good so this is the dumbing down part that we really want you to hear and it is not a dumb question at all it's the elementary question that you have posed so beautifully you have to care about how you feel not about the guy because the guy's a sure thing but when you pick up the stick that says my mate you pick up the stick that has him missing on one end and you don't believe he's present on the other so every time you activate the vibration of relationship it turns you upstream where if instead of activating the vibration of relationship you were activating the vibration of things always work out for me I'm getting a handle of this I know what I'm doing I've been envisioning my life has caused me to put him there I know he's there I don't have to worry about when he's coming and you get focused upon other things that make you feel good or things about that that make you feel good before you know it you'll be there what you want is a sure thing it's just a matter of you allowing yourself vibrational alignment with who you are so when your quest is alignment with who you are we promise you your lover will be there well what's happening with you is your picture of who you are and what you want is so vivid and you are in the process of coming into alignment with that vivid picture so the timing of this relationship is not because he's late in showing up it's because you are wanting to come into alignment with who it is so much better to be in alignment with who you are him be in alignment with who he is and when you rendezvous you're two people in alignment who then recognize each other but if you meet him before he's in alignment or if you meet him before you're in alignment then you miss it you see and that's all that's been happening and that's just fine don't want to rendezvous with someone that is not in vibrational alignment with your total picture of what you are wanting agreed mm -hmm. so you are so on track everything is so unfolding perfectly you have not one thing to be worried about from what we know of your vibrational escrow and from what we feel of you your sensation should be one of elation you should be romping towards San Diego not dragging your heels on the pavement right well that's what I think <laughs>
and don't let anyone else's criteria about how long it's taking about or about where you're looking you don't have to go looking for this this will come and find you your role is to be happy happy and in your happiness you will be inspired to the conversations to the rendezvous to the actions and don't worry don't walk into a room and look everywhere is it you is it you is it you, is it you? <laughs> instead say to yourself you're there I'll know you when I see you and when all the bells and whistles go off I'll take a second look and until then it's not you okay don't talk yourself into anyone this yeah. one's gonna feel great <laughs>